So hi everyone. So my name is Davy Besenbacher, but just call me Davy, that's fine. So uh, I'm currently a research associate in the HLP lab uh, in the University of Pennsylvania, working with Graziella. And uh, during the hackathon, what I want to do is um, starting uh, to write a collective guidelines to help the people uh, organize share tasks um, on social media uh, to extract health-related information. So that will be the goal. Um, <clears throat> so since MAC, since the first MAC's conference, we have seen a large increase of the number of shared tasks that the natural language processing community is organizing. And uh, uh, some of the shared tasks are focused on social media and name and teacher recognition. So mainly for English. So as we have seen here, the Neil and the Whitnet uh, series and the social, the SMM4H uh, series that we are organizing uh, in UPenn, but also in different language like uh, French for the CAP conference. And uh, this year we have, we were speaking about that in French, Spanish, Russian, and English um, um, for uh, the, uh, this year uh, social media, uh, the SMM4H. Uh, what are the advantage of uh, the shared task? So that's pretty obvious. Uh, the people create standard uh, data, and then the data are shared so that the people can run their experiments on those data and compare their results without having to redo, rerun obscure software. But they can use that as a baseline and compare their results, and that helps them to improve the reproducibility of their, of their, of their results. The problem with the shared task, uh, when I was starting to write the proposal for the blah, uh, I didn't find a standard guideline. So what are the questions that the people are facing when they start to organize a shared task? There is no comprehensive list of the problem that you will face when you will start to organize that. So the goal here will be <coughs> to start to write the first draft of these guidelines that will help the people to take over when they are starting to organize one of them. So the work will be organized that way. During the first two days, we will go through the main tools that are involved in the preparation of the shared task, meaning uh, the annotation tools for the first one. And the second one will be the, the evaluation platform that start to be used. You can do a shared task without any evaluation platform, but we can see more and more uh, the use of Codalab or Kegel's platform, for example. So how to set up them and what they can do for you, that would be uh, the main question. The third day, what I want to do is to speak about the past, going inside the literature and see how the people were organizing the shared task uh, for social media. During these three days, uh, we will have a round uh, table where we will discuss a list of general questions that we are all facing uh, during the event, when we are organizing the event. So this question can uh, be about the annotation process. So a generic question like, how many data do I have to annotate? Do I have to double annotate the data? Do I have to balance my data for annotation or not? And uh, during the uh, main task itself, how do I ensure that the people will be able to reproduce the results that are produced during uh, the shared task? Who can I uh, register? Do I register on the academic? Do I register uh, students, normal people, private company? So all these choices have to be made and will impact the uh, results of your shared task. And the end also, uh, the dissemination of the results. How can I help students that for most of the time is their first participation to a shared task to help them to write the paper in order to have a documentation of the system that has been produced. That uh, is also a, a very hot topic um, that I want to address. So during the first day, uh, I come with data. So I come here with 20 timelines that we have annotated uh, in the lab. So for those who are not very familiar with the timeline, the timeline is just the list of tweets uh, that has been published by a person during a certain period of time. And these timelines uh, have to be annotated. And the annotation can be at the different levels. That can be the phrase level, that can be the tweet level, that can be sequence of the tweet level, that can be the user level, or that can be the network of the user level. So, so far, what we have been using uh, in the lab was gate, 
as you can see, but get has some limitation. So what I want to do in the first day is to go through the annotation tools that has been reviewed recently uh, by NAVS and SIVA and see if we can find inside this list of tools or ideal tools to annotate social media. So our annotator, um, Karen O'Connor, already started the, to, screen the, to screen the tools, but she hasn't finished. So what I want to do is to finish that. And uh, <clears throat> the main point will be to start evaluating the tools with how many uh, tweets they can load and the time that they take to load the tweets. Um, is it easy to see the tweets and the timelines? Some of the tools is only one tweet. So when you have to annotate sequence of tweets, you cannot do that. So can we have this type of interface? How can we visualize the annotation, the tags themselves? That's also very very important. Do they support multi-level annotation, phrase, tweets, and so on, with the subcategory? Sometimes you want to have subcategory inside the annotation. And also, more and more, we are starting to normalize the annotation. So that means, can we link the annotation to external resources, like Midra, RxNorm for the drugs, for example, can we support that and help the annotator for doing that? Can we ideally have the support of the multi-annotation, so seeing automatically the inter-annotator agreement computed uh, and the disagreement? We have also all the science computing questions. Is it stable? Can we have the auto-saving? Uh, is it a nightmare to export the, 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 the annotation that has been uh, filled inside the system? Ideally, we want also to have the possibility to run pre-annotation tools and eventually the support of active learning when we are doing that with a machine. And we want to have that free because we like free, of course. So free and open source. So that will be the main question. During the second day, as I said, we will start to uh, try to find uh, the, evaluation, the evaluation platform. So for SMA4H and CMEVAL, we, are, we were using um, Codalab. But Codalab is not stable, so we have a big crash six months or eight months ago, and a lot of uh, competition had been lost. So, and uh, there is no documentation. So, when you have a bug in Codalabs, well, you are on your own, and good luck to find the bugs. So, I want to see if there is any other platform that exists. And I want to spend my time on evaluating how easy it is to let the people upload their code and run the code directly on the platform. That will be a main point to ensure the reproducibility. So uh, our previous speaker was speaking about that, the nightmare of reproducing uh, the results. I think that we here it's important to see if this type of evaluation platform can do that just by running the, the code directly on the server before the evaluation so that we are sure that the code is there. The last uh, day, uh, I have already prepared a list of questions, but this list of questions is definitely not exhaustive, so I want to complete this question. And these questions are generic for some of them, so we will not have any answer, but the point is not to answer the generic question. The point is to have those questions and then go inside the literature and see how the people address those questions and see uh, what were their choices. And that's all what we want for this uh, particular event. So during the last day, I want to start the state of the art, basically. Uh, starting running, extracting all the shared tasks that has been run on social media for health, and then start to see uh, the generic question that uh, they made the choice and how they addressed that. The last uh, point will be how do we evaluate our work. At the end of this hackathon, what I want is to have a draft of a collective work that we can extend and finally publish in a journal. So that is all. If you have any question, I'll let you with the beautiful campus of Philadelphia. And thank you, Bishop.